another day, another boy racer sitting outside with his car windows open playing really loud music. Apologies. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Melissa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I just wanted to put on a lot of makeup and it's all drugstore. So we're gonna do this look here. It's a lot, but you know what? That is what this channel is all about. We're using the Patricia Bright Rich in Colour palette and a liquid glitter, all drugstore like I said, and it's gonna be fun. So if you wanna see how to do this look here, then why do you just keep on watching? <laughs> What is all this? Mm, don't know what the hair's doing. It's fine. Well, we'll manage. Um, if well, I told my patrons already. We're going blonde, and then we're going pink, very soon. As soon as my bleach arrives, we're gonna try dyeing my hair. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's start with makeup because that's what we're here for. Um, we are using, like I said, the Patricia Bright palette. What one is this? Rich in color which is the colourful one. I'm going to start off with, what did I use? I think I started off with this shade here called Taste the Rainbow. We're going to do the like not precise cut crease, winged out smoky. We're going full glam. We're doing full glam drugstore. Like I said, we're just having fun. Why am I picking this up? I've not even primed my eye. What even is anything? Revlon, Revlon Candid. You know the drill. Right, makeup. Taste the rainbow. I'm gonna stamp that under here. Just kind of follow the line up. And across in like a triangular shape. I'm not gonna take it all the way into the inner corner though. I don't really want any depth there apart from the bloom. And I'll just take a wee bit more of that shape on a blending brush and just kind of puff it out. Mm, kind of forgotten how good these palettes were. I've got the other one out as well because I'm going to use the black from it. Uh, 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 I do, don't know what I did next. I think I might have gone in with this lighter shade now, um, which is called Fruit Punch, this bright pink. Just fluff this around a little. I'm really sorry if all you can hear is the bass from whatever music it's playing. It's all I can hear as well. I'm gonna get a microphone at the end of this month and see if that improves things. It's very technologically challenged, so I don't know how to link it all up, but we'll be fine. I've <clears throat> got a hair in my face, and then, what did we do then, Melissa? And then I'll grab this pink's popping, this one here, on the same but different brush. Chuck this all the way up to the brow. I'll put this on the inner corner as well, just a pinch. It's looking rough. Okay, beginnings of our shape. Now I'm going to grab a more like dense brush and the shade pillow top up here, which is truly stunning. Yes, I'm watching Shanix. So look at her beautiful face. I love her. I am going to put this pretty much right with that first colour. I won't take it all the way to the inner corner either. And if I drop my brow, I mean, I always think I'd do really well then. I drop my brow and I'm like, oh, it looks really sad. So I'll just drag it up a bit. Is this palette as good as the Stacey Marie Carnival Beauty Bay Mitchell? No. Is it still really good though? Yes. And it's the only bright palette I have for Makeup Revolution. So that's saying something. I'm gonna grab that Fruit Punch shade, the bright pink, and just blend the edges of this. Just 
just a smidge because I'm going to come back to it anyway. I'm going to go in with the black, but that is from the Rich in Life palette. I'm sure you've all got a black lying around, just this one here. You know me, I like to add my depth. And I didn't feel like there was a deep enough colour in the Rich In colour palette. So that's why I'm going in with black. And it is a good one. I've actually put on way too much. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess of this. And then I'll go back in with Pillow Talk, this one up here. <sighs> mm, try and blend this out. You know what we say around here? It'll all be fine. No need to panic. Try a bit more fruit punch as well. I am not wearing a bra. I hope that mirror did not reflect anything. Um, this is going okay. This is going okay. Uh, right, let's put on the blue and then see how we feel. It's called Ocean Deep. I'm just gonna use it dry, even though it's a metallic. I feel like all the brushes I'm using are Jess up, which is a good thing. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on like the front half of my lid. And then I'll just take like a super tiny amount, just on that same brush. I'm just gonna like pat it into the crease. I'm just going to take like a little pencil brush and just tickle it over the edges. Just to try and get a little bit of, sorry I've, cracked, I've got a mirror here so I'm just, I just don't want it looking really neat. <laughs> and then I actually just took a little bit of the shade No Boo, this deep blue which is actually a matte and just popped that on here in between this lighter one and the black. Ooh, that's all right. And then Lottie London Eye Foil. I really wish I'd swatched this in my blue video. This is in the shade Fire. I don't know why it's called Fire. It really annoys me. I just, gosh, I wish I'd swatched this in my blue series video and I pat this on top. It's so gorgeous. It is like purple to blue duochrome, but it is more blue. You know me, I like to use a brush. This is just gonna make the whole thing more joyful, more sparkly. I'll just pat around this and I'm just hoping that little bits of glitter like go above the crease and it just kind of makes it look a bit more kind of blended. Look at that blue, right? I'll just take a bit more of that blue that we stacked on the lid and just kind of blend the edge. How gorgeous is that topper though? Not the same shape. I'm gonna do this under eye once I've got my base on. I was just playing with this one and seeing what I would do. So I'll wipe off my fallout and we'll move on. No, wait, <laughs> wait, we have to put eyeliner on first. I'm just using my NYX gel liner. I'm not doing a wing, I'm just doing a line across the lash line. Just so my lashes look better when I put them on. Get right, we'll clean up the fallout and do the base because man alive, I want to put some moisturizer on. 
I'm going to moisturise with my Revolution Hydration Boost Moisturiser. I've got two of these and they both look like this. I like it. I really want like some of the new ones, like the watermelon scented ones and stuff, but I don't know how I feel about a like spending money unnecessarily right now because it just feels so like I've put too much on my brush. Like it feels like a little frivolous to spend money on makeup right now. Just for me, because I don't have, you know, heaps of money to spend. But also I'm not sure about like placing orders for stuff that is like not necessary, you know? I don't know. It's one of those things like I don't really know what to do. Are you guys like placing orders like normal? Or are you not? I would love to know. I'm not trying to start an argument. Just seeing what everyone's doing. Like it's keeping people in work, but it's also putting people at risk. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know. Such a nice moisturizer, by the way. It's just like a gel. That's good. I don't know if I'll prime. Maybe I will prime. I'll use my Elf Luminous. Why not? No, I won't. I'll use my NYX Bear With Me because it's got a glow to it. And I want to just be a glowing goddess today. Oh, I squeezed out way too much. <laughs> I feel like this has got a really similar effect to the Becca Backlight Priming Filter that I've been testing. Like the same kind of glow. Although I couldn't wear this alone because it is just like a shade too dark whereas I could wear the Becca alone and like go to the shop and I wouldn't look weird, if you know what I mean. That's such a nice like glow to the skin. Um, but yeah, just a pinch too dark for me but it's, it's fine, isn't it? It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna use my conceal and hydrate again. I used it in my like last video, I think, and I really liked it. So we'll use this. I'm gonna use my color drain sponge. This is my color drain. It's the best sponge I've ever used. It is 10,000 million times better than Beauty Blender. It's better than Real Techniques. It is so soft and squishy. It's massive. It's brilliant. You can only buy it on Color Drain, as far as I know. And it's not in this design anymore. This was for Christmas, but they've got other designs and it's all the same sponge. So that's where it's from. Highly recommend. Probably the most recommended thing I'll ever use in my life at this point because it's that good. So let that be that. This is shade 6.5. I just kind of forgot how beautiful the coverage on this was. Because it is not my most reached for Revolution foundation. But wow, I mean look at it. The coverage is beautiful. It is beautiful. I feel like Makeup Revolution are really increasing their prices on a lot of their stuff. Isn't that pretty? I know it's pale, but it is pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we will cream contour. I can't open my drawer. I'll use this Makeup Revolution Pro HD one again. I'm gonna use a darker shade this time. I enjoyed this the last time I used it. I think I do just kind of prefer cream contouring with concealer though. It's just a bit nicer to blend out than a cream. I need to not use all Makeup Revolution for this video. Things do just blend on top of this foundation real nice. I do like it. I put a bit much on, that's okay, that's what concealer's for. Drugstore concealer that is not Makeup Revolution. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I want to use that one. I'll use this because I never use it. The L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 320. I just don't think I liked it that much. Oh, all I saw. I 
definitely have at least one big makeup fail every day, so it's fine. It's a nice colour for me anyway, it's nice and light and bright. Let's see what the coverage is like though, under here. That's quite nice. There's definitely like a reason I don't reach for it, I just can't remember it right now. I think my base looks quite nice. I feel like I've kind of lost my cream contour, but it's still there-ish. It's just not like as much. I'll use my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder because you know I like this one. I'm not worried about all the under eye shadow because I can, like I said, just like fix that up. I'll use that powder just all over my mug because it's got a nice glowing kind of setting to it. Halo glow. I am just going to use a little bit of my skin finish. I was going to not and then I thought why not? Just do it. glowy and L'Oreal Shake and Glow because why use Glam Glow when you can use this? It's just like the same thing. I do love the Glam Glow one though. I'm going to use my Rimmel Kate Moss Contour Kit for the contour shade. This is in, what's it, in 002. I have been enjoying this contour. I put some lip balm on by the way. You can probably tell. Strong around my hairline. <laughs> I really like that contour kit a lot. And I do feel like I'm quite fussy with contours. I'm gonna grab this MUA bronzed. This is in the shade Solar 100. This is only like two pounds. And I like a bargain. I like a bargain that actually works. And this does. So I think when you get to your bronzer, that's when everything just starts coming together and you're like, yep, yeah. okay. It's very matte though, I would quite like a shimmery bronzer, but I don't want to use my wet and wild one again. You can't go wrong with like a two pound bronzer that is this good. Like that looks like any other bronzer I use, you know what I mean? Just does in my opinion. I think where I lack makeup is drugstore highlighter. I'll use my Maybelline Face Studio. This one is in diamond something. Diamond glow. It is extreme, but it might just might be a bit pale. I don't know. It is a lush highlight. You know? Is it stunning? Yeah. I just didn't want to use my soft one and I just don't feel like I've got that many drugstore highlighters. Drugstore, you are pretty much just as good as high end. And I want to use a pink blush, this is my Max Factor Cream Puff in lovely pink. And it doesn't want to focus on it, there we go. Really pretty, pink's got a bit of a sheen to it. I still remember when they actually launched these blushes and I was dying for one for the longest time and I didn't buy it because I think they're, you know, they're a little pricey and I finally got one. I loved it. And it just kind of merges into the highlight because it's got a glow so it's just very pretty. I might just like finish this eye to see what I'm doing and then we'll copy it on this eye. I think I'm going to continue with this like blue in the middle and see. I'll be back in a sec and we'll decide. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to 
keep it like this. I'm gonna go back in with that Pillow Talk shade. This brush doesn't have a name, it's just like a little pointy brush. Tuck that on the inside. Already taking it down a bit too far. And here. And these are going over a set base. Well nice. And I'll pick up the black from the other palette. Need a bigger desk. This on that same brush. And that gorgeous blue. Plonk that in the middle. I'll use a bit of that. This pink's popping. I am sorry for the very loud music outside. And of course, the eye foil. Mm, this brush doesn't have a name either, it's just this tiny little packing brush. Over that blue. And I'm gonna use my Barry M black eyeliner on the inside of it. And the outside of it. And my Kiko turquoise one in the center. You're gonna wanna do a couple layers of this one. It makes it way more fair. And then I'll pick up a bit more of that pink's pop and just drag it out a pinch. And then I'll take the shade Shimmering for the inner corner. Brows, lashes, I'll be back. We'll put a lip on, all right? We're kind of matching. It's matching enough that I don't care. I'm gonna use my MUA Velvet Matte. This is in the shade Devotion. I don't know. I just don't want to do nude. I kind of do want to do nude, but I feel like you'll all be bored by nude, so I'll not do nude. This will just match the eyes. Why oh, I'm already making a mess. I'm going to use a pinch of Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in 10, just in the centre. Let's see what happens. YOLO. I don't know what I think about that. I'm going to just be with it for a few minutes while I brush my hair. And then we'll, we'll be done. I think we'll be done. We'll put on one last bit of setting spray. to make up on, don't we? Yes we do. Every time I turn on the camera to start filming, the music starts up again. I'm really sorry. My makeup is done. It is completely done. It's a lot. I'm not sure about the blue underneath the eyes, but it's a decision that we made. We all made it together. You can all blame yourselves and it's there now. So we're just gonna have to live with it. It's fine. You know what? It all wipes off at the end of the day. And that is, that's that. Let me know what you think. I do like this lip. I went over the ombre that I did because I wasn't happy with it, but. So we are done. I hope you enjoyed this. You know what to do if you did give it a thumbs up it really helps me out leave me a comment and subscribe why wouldn't you you know it's all part of the fun so i i on that note i'm gonna piss off and i really hope you all have a nice day whatever you're doing stuck inside and i hope we'll catch you all on the flip side bye what do we do to love what do we do to love what do we do to love
When everything's said and done 